Now, if you're a new real estate agent, listen up, this is for you. These are basically gonna be the eight things that I wish some people told, for example, my new real estate agents that we work with, that they actually knew before they started. So if you follow this advice that I'm basically gonna mention in this video, then your success is going to be guaranteed. So make sure to watch the whole thing. So my name is Sam Spijkerman. I'm the founder and CEO of Samware Online. And if you're new to the real estate industry, then listen up. There's basically gonna be eight things that I wish, like some things that got told to our agents. And they are, I'm basically gonna mention those in this video. And let's get into it. The first one is that you're basically entering a sales-based position. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Because contrary to like the, the common belief, it's not just like something passive, what a lot of people think, right? You actually have to put in the work and people are not just gonna come to you and business is not just gonna come to you, right? You have to put in the work and it's not just gonna come all through word of mouth. You have to do outreach. You have to reach out to people outside of your sphere and you have to put in the work and able to be in front of those people that don't know, like, and trust you yet. If you want to be successful in the real estate business, you have to be able to generate new business yourself outside of your sphere as well. Now, the second most important thing is basically your skill set, right? So we've actually done a poll to where we asked agents like, what's more important, your ability to sell or your ability to market? And we saw that 90% actually said your ability to sell because we've seen a lot of successful agents to where a point where it was so important that they were actually so confident on the listing presentation and the buyer's consultation that that was that they thought that that was the main driver that got them the agreement signed right and we've seen it happen with a lot of our agents that we work with as well and basically what's going to happen is that you can only do this through skillful interaction so a fancy website or fancy business cards or fancy suit that's not going to be the main drivers it's all going to come down to sales and how you're able to present yourself so hone in those skill sets because that's going to be one of your most important factors of your success in real estate now next to that if you want to compete even more against other agents, what's important is that you know most about the market than anyone else. Now, how can you do that? You can look at, you can look daily at like the MLS, like how many listings are coming on the market, what areas are being popular, the average listing prices that are basically being put on, how many days the listings are on the market before they sell and stuff like that. And those statistics is what you want to look at. If you look at that every day, you'll know more than almost 90% of the agents actually in your market. And this will help you sell yourself as well. Now, number three is home sold, which is also called the absorption rate. So how many homes are actually being sold and how many are actually coming on the market? This will basically give you a ratio of how many months of inventory there is on the market. And this will give you a better understanding as well. It's super crucial. Now, the fourth factor is price to sold ratio. So basically, if someone lists their home for $100,000, how much are they actually able to get for it? Like how much is the buyer willing to pay? Like these are ratios that are also super important to know because this way you can actually price your home better, especially if you're a new agent. Now, a fifth thing that's also going to be really important as a new agent is like the average days on market of the home that you're selling. Now this, if you're a seller, this basically, this number is super important because it basically decides how long your home is going to be on the market, right? Now buyers can basically use this number to anticipate in future trends that they can see in the market and they can basically see where the economy is going based on this number. So it's also one of the most important numbers. Now six was also really important. That's, that's going to show you that you're a professional is basically the number of how many times times do we have to show a home before it's actually sold? So if you can tell a seller, because now you have all this data of how long it takes on average and how many showings have to be done before the home is actually sold, that this will show you and place you as the authority figure and it'll show professionalism as well. And it will help you win over the listing presentation as well, because it shows that you have knowledge about the current market conditions. Now, one thing that also a lot of agents forget to do is previewing home. So for example, when a new home comes on the market, basically call up the listing agent and basically have check it out. This way you'll even get an even better understanding of the actual home, what the prices are going for in certain areas, some details about the home and why they're priced like that. And this will basically help you ramp up that process of learning about your market and basically gaining that knowledge qu quicker. Now you need a coach, right? Because the coach has already gone through all the mistakes and all the processes and everything else. And they already have the blueprint to basically get you to your goal. And they know what it takes to basically get in front of those new 
people and to basically grow your database. Now, if you, for example, want to learn more about how we do that with our agents, just click the link down below and you can book a call with me or one of my team members and we can see if we can actually help you out first before we make an offer. Now, even some of the most experienced agents, they still rely on Zillow, Realtor.com and even more, right? However, this is not a profitable source. The cost per acquisition is going through the roof. It's getting more expensive every single day and it's just hard for new agents to actually work with some companies like this. So you want to focus on your sphere and growing your database because that's going to be the most important part of your real estate journey. So focus on that. It's actually going to be much cheaper than working with some of these companies. Now, also one thing that you want to focus on as a new agent is to basically hone in your listing presentation, right? Make sure that it's all ready and that you've done the research on the home and the comps around it as well to make sure that your presentation and your listing presentation is waterproof. Now, this is basically also done through a CMA, also seen as a comparative market analysis. Now, what would it be like if you weren't scared to pick up the phone and actually go through your top 100 contacts and just tell them like, hey, John, can I do a quick CMA and basically provide you with some value about your home so you could have some more insight? It's totally free and I just want to help out in any way I can. What if you were able to do that? What would you think the success would be like? Drop a comment down below to see basically what your thoughts are on this if you were able to pull something like this off. So basically, it comes to my last point is like the more contacts you can actually make and the more people that you can talk with, the higher you're increasing your chances to actually get more buyers and sellers into your database and more clients that you can work with in basically resulting in more closings. So if you found this video helpful, please check on the next video here that I'm going to pop up on the screen and also make sure to check out the description if you want to learn more about how we can help you generate more buyers and sellers through social media and database reactivations while also using video content like this. All right. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.